Hello, this is Dan DeLuca, and today we're, I'm going to talk a little bit about telephone prospecting and how you can be successful at that. Um, and this might be a little bit of a repeat of something I've talked about before, but I, I look at this myself and it really bears repeating, I think, because we forget and we get caught up in some stuff that I'm going to talk about right now. So if you want to be a master prospector, a master recruiter, you want to be master at closing, then you got to get over any fear of rejection that you have. And I know I've talked a little bit about rejection in the past, but it's, you know, it's like we're human beings. And, and once you get over your fear of rejection once, that doesn't mean you've gotten over it forever. It can come back because we can begin to take things personally when in fact it's not personal. If you want to make a difference with people, you're going to get rejected because you're going to find that a lot of people really um, are not open. They don't like change. They don't want to change. They're afraid of change, etc. And if uh, if people uh, if they're afraid of change, then then there's not much you can do for them. There's there's not much of a difference you can make, and it's it's just time to move on. So you got to get over your fear of rejection. I want to tell you about Babe Ruth. He was a, ba a baseball player a long time ago, and he, for a long time, he held the record for the number of home runs. Well, it also turns out that he holds the record for the number of strikeouts. So the, the lesson is he swung the bat. He swung it more times than anybody else. And that's how you get to being successful as a networker, as a prospector, recruiter, a salesperson, you got to be talking to people and you got to be willing to get no's and you have to be willing to have that rejection. And consider that it's not really a rejection at all. It's just somebody saying no. They're not rejecting you as a human being or as a person. They're rejecting your opportunity. They're rejecting your offer. They're rejecting what you're, whatever it is you're promoting or selling. Successful people hear more no's. That's just the it's a numbers game, really. The more no's you can get, the more yeses you're gonna get. It's really that simple. So I want you to think about picking up the book Go for No. There's a book called Go for No. And think about it. And now that you've thought about it, I want you to imagine holding it in your hand or seeing it on your computer, your Kindle, your electronic device. See it? You see it there? And now I want you to go to Amazon.com and buy the frickin' book and read it. Imagine reading it. That's right. Get it. In fact, stop this video, pause it, go buy the book, and then come back for the rest of this. So the best prospectors out there are getting maybe a 30% closing rate. That's the best ones. That means they're getting 7 out of 10 people they talk to tell them no. So even the best, the best baseball players are about the same thing. You get a 30%, a 300 um, in your batting average, you're in the Hall of Fame. <clears throat> that's about That's about it. So... Consider that um, all there is to do is to embrace the no's, embrace that rejection, and don't be afraid of it. In fact, go for it. Go for rejection. So I know a guy that's very successful. He went for 20 no's a day for six months. And at the end of six months, he hadn't reached his goal. He reached his goal at the end of the seventh month. So consider setting a goal of so many no's a day for the next 30 days or 90 days. If you could get two, if you go for two no's a day for the next 90 days, you will have built your business incredibly. I, I, I don't know how big it'll be. It'll be huge. It'll be massive. It'll be beyond your wildest expectations. So don't go for the yeses. Go for the no's. Because if you go for two no's a day, okay, you're going to get a yes every once in a while, and that's going to grow your business. So get over your fear of rejection by going for the no 
understanding there are going to be a lot more no's than yeses. Understand that it's not about you personally. It's about the other person you're talking to. They don't want it. They don't like it. They don't know enough about it. It's your job to figure out, do they just need to have another question answered or do they really just not like it? Go for those no's, be successful, and I'll see you at the top.